Uh, I remember so well, so vividly, August 2008, and we sat in a small room uh, with Republican leaders, and they were announcing, actually getting our thoughts on who should be vice president when John McCain runs. And, and they mentioned the Minnesota governor and a few others, and they settled on Sarah Palin. Do you remember that? I do. I remember that very well. It, it was an incredible time because, as you recall, we were in St. Paul, Minnesota, because that's where the Republican National Convention was going to be. So there are many meetings that were going on. And of course, anytime there's action, Kevin Freeman is there. And inevitably, usually I'm there, too. So our paths crossed. And that was quite a conversation because, as you said, they were going through all of the various possibilities. They hadn't decided yet. The, uh, John McCain hadn't decided who his running mate would be, but there were some obvious names that were on the table. So they wanted to get input from all of us on what we thought. And uh, Sarah Palin, I think, was a wonderful choice for John McCain. Well, not only that, I mean, the minute it was announced, there was an excitement in the room. The minute it was announced, the polls, John McCain and Sarah Palin shot to the lead in the polls, and they held that lead until September 11th, 2008. They were way ahead. But I remember we had a, a private conversation. We were talking. There were a few other people, and I was trying to share with you, because you were on the Intelligence Committee. You were on the Financial Services Committee. And I said, there's this thing called naked short selling. It's coming down the tracks. It is going to ruin our economy. It will change the election. And while we were talking, before I was able to get to the punchline, my phone rang, and it was my mom. And she said, Kevin, I have cancer and I only have a few months to live. And I left the convention that minute, flew back to see her in Oklahoma and spent the remaining months of her life. She died in January. And I watched naked short selling hit the stock market starting September 11th. And I saw it change. McCain Palin leading in the polls. All of a sudden, it's Obama Biden. And they never look back. Well, this was an insight that I believe that you're, you're naturally an extremely bright person. So you saw that. But I think also, I think the spirit of God spoke to you, Kevin, and showed you things that nobody else was getting at that moment. You were prescient, but you were exactly right, just like you've been on so many other topics. That's why I'm glad that you have Economic War Room, because now you can share with a far wider audience what you'd shared with me in private, things on that sort. And so I'm very grateful for Economic War Room, and I'm glad that you are still heavily engaged in the fight, because we certainly need you now more than ever.